In this video, we will be replacing the rear struts in this 2003 Toyota Camry. To prep this vehicle, I have installed wheel chocks on the front tires. I have raised the rear of the vehicle and installed safety stands. I have removed the hubcap and wheel, and I now have access to the area I will be working on. And with the wheel removed, we have clear access to our drum brakes. Behind the drum brakes, we have our strut assembly. This is what we will be replacing. Behind the drum brakes, we also have a sway bar link that we will need to remove. The connection point on the uppermost portion of the sway bar link is connected to the strut. So we will be removing this point. Applying a little AMSOIL metal protector will aid in the removal of this bolt. I'll install a vice grip on the back side of this to hold it in place. And we'll see if we can break that free with a 14 millimeter socket. We will then be removing two 10 millimeter bolts and one 12 millimeter bolt holding some of our brake line components on. We'll begin by spraying just a little AMSOIL metal protector on these bolts to aid in the removal process. And this will allow us to move these lines out of the way just slightly. Taking a look at the bottom most portion of our strut, we have two 19 millimeter bolts that need to come out. And again, some AMSOIL metal protector to aid in the removal process. On one side, we can connect a wrench and the other side we can use our impact socket. Ah! Ah! And then using a jack, I'm going to reduce the amount of pressure that is on these bolts by lifting up that wheel assembly. I'm then going to see if I can break that free with a dead blow hammer. And then I'll switch to a punch to see if I can fully remove that. and that strut should be loose. To access the top part of the strut, we first want to go inside the vehicle. We want to pull upward on our seat towards the middle on both sides. Work our seat belts through and we can work that seat out. Now our objective is to remove our furthest most seat cushion and we first need to locate one bolt towards the very bottom. This is a 12 millimeter bolt. After that, we want to locate the seat release knob, which is just left of the headrest. We can lift that up, work that seat down. We then want to take the bottom corner of the cushion and lift that upward. And taking a look underneath the insulation, we can see three bolts, which are connecting the top portion of our strut. And using a 12 millimeter wrench, we can loosen these up. 
Now we can remove the first two, but when we get to the third one, we need to be careful because that third one is the only thing supporting the strut. So we want to support this from underneath as we loosen that nut. And we can then work that out of there. And I always like to compare my old part with my new part, just to make sure that they look the same and that I do have the right part. Specifically, I'm looking to make sure that the connection points line up and are in the same orientation. I'm also looking that the length of the component is the same. These look good. If we take a look from the underside, we can see that two of the bolt locations are closer and one of them is a little bit further away. This tells us that this part will only go in one way. And we can see on our new part, two of those bolt locations are closer. One of them is a little bit further away. So we can work that up underneath. And when we get that fed through, we can start the nuts. And at this point, we're going to snug each of these down. And back on our new wheel assembly, we can line up our strut with our hole locations. And I'm going to use a combination of the jack with a dead blow hammer to seat those bolts in there. And we can start those nuts on there. We can first snug these down and then torque them to 188 foot-pounds. We can then reassemble the rest of our components back together. 12 millimeter on that first bolt and 10 millimeter on those remaining two bolts. And then our sway bar link will be connected and torqued to 29 foot-pounds. And at this point, everything is done on the outside of the vehicle. And prior to torquing the top three bolts, we want to put the wheel back on and lower the vehicle. And our objective is 29 foot-pounds. After replacing the rear struts on the other side of the vehicle, we can proceed with the reassembly of the interior of the vehicle. And this repair is complete.